Hello, 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 artistic family. I made it. Today is the day. So this video is jam-packed with information. So I need you guys to watch the video from beginning until end so you don't miss out on the giveaway details for how you need to participate to get your free goodies. And also I am doing the recreation of my favorite metallic straight pour as well as my most popular video on YouTube. So many of you guys have reached out to me over the last several months. I think the video was posted six or seven months ago. A lot of you want to recreate it, do over countertops, etc. You love it and I appreciate it. You guys love it as much as I do. So what I did guys is I got this piece of paper here and I literally wrote down step by step exactly what I did. I watched the video a few times. I'm going to do my best to recreate it. Hopefully we'll get a sister, maybe a close cousin. I doubt we'll get a twin, but if so, that's fantastic. So I really need you guys to stick with me and understand that there is no duplicates in fluid art. I'm going to do my best to recreate it. But if it doesn't turn out the same as the first pour, that's fantastic. As long as it's beautiful, I am happy. So towards the end of the video, I will give you guys the giveaway details and how to go about participating and uh, give you a little bit more information on the prize. And uh, I'm also going to add in um, how much paint you need for... I'm going to give you guys a formula. So again... These are questions that many people ask, a variety of artists, you know, how much paint do you use per canvas? We're all guilty. I've watched lots of artists that don't have that information or don't say we go over consistency all the time. But a lot of times we don't talk about how much paint you need and I'm guilty of that. So over time, I've kind of created my own. And then I did a, a, a test the other day just to make sure that my formula for me you guys can find another one. You might have heard of a different one from somewhere else, and that's fine. But for me, this formula works. So make sure you watch the video, guys, throughout the whole way through, and then I will explain that to you. So first thing is first, guys, I'm going to turn the canvas around this way. And I did say I was going to do this recreation on a larger canvas. It is. It's a 12 by 16. The initial canvas that I did the metallic straight pour on was a 9 by 12. So it's not too large. I was going to do it on a 16 by 20, guys. But the issue with that is because I don't measure my paints and layering is extremely important, I really wanted to follow the recipe and what I saw to recreate this the best as I could. So I wanted to use the same size cup and a fairly similar size canvas. So this is a six ounce cup. I have two one ounce clear solo cups with the bronze and the copper. And uh, I'm using gold and the black. Those are the four colors. This is by Artist Loft and so is the bronze. So the copper and the bronze. I'm going to go over so that you guys can learn with me because many of you have asked me tons of questions on how to create this. Uh, the video was only about six and a half, seven minutes long. I did give you guys some information, but a lot of the video was music and I didn't uh, go over my layering and etc. Consistency, none of that. So I'm going to do that now. So this is the metallic copper. I have a slight mound, okay, which now is starting to really frustrate me. I can't believe that just happened, guys. Wow. Okay, I'm going to have to mix up some more paint, guys, and I'll be right back. Well, guys, I'm telling you, I've been burning the candle at both ends, trying to get all these commission pieces. I'm not trying to complain to you guys. I'm just trying to be honest and real. That's why it's taken a few weeks for me to actually get this done. Um, I'm exhausted. Um, I'm naturally messy, but um, I'm really clumsy. Uh, the other reason is I've been using the Radiant Gold by Craftsmark, and the original recipe for this pour was folk art, which I haven't been able to get for several months, lovely COVID. 
and I finally have been able to get some, but Michaels no longer sells the eight ounce bottles. They only sell the two, and they only had four left, and luckily I got them. Okay, so let's try this again, guys. I just really wanted to get this up for you, but it's just already starting to be a mess, and it's really frustrating because I want to do my best for you guys. But like I said, I am depleted. You know, it's only been a few weeks since I've had, eight weeks since I've had my surgery. And I've already been told I'm kind of doing way more than what I should be. So anyways, let's just get going. So my consistency here, guys, as you can see, is a slight mound if I don't drop it again. Okay. Very slight, meaning not a full mound, which means once it hits the paint, it's it just has a very little mound on the top, and then it dissipates and goes right in, okay? And that's how it is for all of them. The gold as well, as well as the black. So let's get going, guys, before I pass out on the camera. Okay, so like I said, I've got my piece of paper here. I'm going to follow it to the best that I can. Uh, again, if you guys are looking to recreate this, many of you have reached out to me. So you're going to want to watch all of this. And of course, you're going to want to watch the end. So uh, you find out the giveaway details. And I'm going to tell you guys how to go about creating, uh, mixing the right amount of paint for your canvas with my formula. So first... I laid a large puddle of black, so I'm going to say that I was right here, and then I went in with a small hit of gold because we know that gold and copper are bossy, okay? And then I've layered in between each color with black, okay? And then I added my bronze. Now here's the big thing about this, guys, is the consistency. I don't measure. So it is very possible that this still might not turn out even if I do the exact same thing because I don't have measurements. So just watching the video is all I went by, okay? So the black, the gold, the bronze, the black, the copper, the black again, okay? And then I am back with the gold. Small hit it says on my paper. Back with the black. This was a large hit. And then I have the bronze. Okay. Then what I also did was instead of pouring the cup from where I ended off, which would have been right here with the bronze, I remember and the video showed me that I turned it sideways and pour from the side, which is what I'm going to do. But I don't think I have that much black left. So I'm just going to lay a little bit more gold. So what I also did, guys, was I laid a puddle in the center. And then I stretched it out a bit. Okay. So I'm going to do the same. And then I torched it. And I also suggest that when you guys are done, at least for excitement, because I'm going to do it, is that uh, I will link the original video down in the uh, video description, as well as in the end card that will pop up in the top here. And uh, go take a look and you can compare and uh, see what's going on. I'm not sure where all these little specks are, could be because I just made this up, probably. Um, so let me just give it one more quick torch. Okay, it's not getting them up. Okay. Then what I did, guys, is after I pour my mix, which seems to be thinner, I can tell right now, than what it was originally, um, I then added gold to one side and black to the other, okay? And kind of moved it in. So let's get going. So I started low, and I came up, and I went low, and I don't see any of my copper. None of it. So we're going to see how that works. It's definitely way more fluid. 
But you know what, guys? I'm just trying my best. That's all I can do. I apologize if this disappoints anybody. But like I said, there's no duplicates. I really wanted to create it because I do love it. And so many of you guys really wanted to try to recreate it. So I'm doing what I can. I apologize. It doesn't come out the way that you want. But like I said, there's no duplicates. As long as I get a close cousin, I'm happy. And if it turns out beautiful, I'm perfectly fine if it looks nothing the same. This is all the black that I have made up. But I did the same thing I did last time. Okay, so I tilted here first, then I came down here, I tilted here, and then here. I don't see the copper at all. And this is moving way more fluid than it did last time. And it appears that I'm going to have way more gold. So I'm not happy with that, guys. So, hmm, I don't know how to do this. Hmm. I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to take the stick, swirl this around a bit. Okay, just to add the copper in here. Because we need it. Okay. So now I'm going to go up over this side, and come back, okay, I'm going to come down, I remember going back up, and I came over on this side, okay, and I came down over here. Okay, so we do see some cells popping up. I do have some of the effects starting again here, guys, as you can see. Okay, so I'm hoping this is going to work for me. I really hope so, guys. It will make being exhausted and everything so worth it. So I'm just going to come down. Oh, I'm so glad I added that copper. It's gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to come back down. Wow. Okay, maybe my consistency didn't mess anything up too much, which is great. Okay. And I'm getting that gorgeous web lacing, which I love, starting here up at the top, which is what happened last time. Now, oftentimes, guys, just a reminder, there is no silicone in my paints. There is no Floetrol. This was before I even used Floetrol. When I created this the first time, metallics often just have the properties, especially when you're using several of them together, and I have three. So I'm gonna go ahead and torch, guys, and just like the last time, I will come back and uh, give you guys the close-up. And then we'll go over the details for the giveaway. Well guys, uh, I apologize, I did my best. And if you guys go and watch the original video, you will see that I pretty well copied it verbatim, for the most part, besides trying to remember and guess the consistency. So it was definitely too thin, I had a slight mound. So for you, for those of you who are looking to recreate it, um, all of the copper here is blended. It was uh, too thin, so it's definitely a mound. So if you're looking for consistency, it is a small mound. Not a mound on a mound, but an actual mound. So it sits on the top of the paint before it starts to dissipate and sink in. So right now, I have very little bronze. The gold has completely taken over. Um, I might have added more than what I should have. Um, I did start to get some of the effects in certain areas, but because of the consistency, it did not work out. So, do not be discouraged, guys, because here is proof from a professional artist that you can try something a second time and it look completely different. So, those of you who are disappointed, I apologize, so am I, but at the same time, I'm just being realistic, there are no duplicates. However, I still love this gorgeous thick webbing effect with the lacing that these metallics make when you use several of them together. 
but of course it's so blended together there's no special interest in this piece so moving on guys for the giveaway it is a $50 value, which I think is extremely generous and very nice, especially for something free, right? I mean, who doesn't love free? So what you need to do is comment in this video, not the original, under this video with the hashtag 5K giveaway. So it will start from today, June 30th, and I will wait until June 14th, which is, or sorry, July 14th, which is a Wednesday, so it's about two weeks. And then I'm gonna use YouTube's comment picker to make it fair uh, to choose the winner of the goodie prize, which is really good. Um, I'm keeping it a mystery right now until we actually select the winner. But when the winner does contact me, um, there is a prize that I don't have yet because I will need to know their name in order to get the rest of the gift for the goodie bag. So again, it's a $50 giveaway value. Um, I've got some extra added little love and personalization that I'm gonna add to it once I've selected the winner. To be eligible for the giveaway, you have to be part of the artistic family, which means you have to subscribe to Shannon Gibson Art and Design, my channel. Leave a comment down below with the hashtag so I know that you watched the video, 5K giveaway. And on June 14th, sorry, I keep saying June, July 14th, I will be doing the draw for the winner. And then that winner needs to contact me via my email, which is down in the video description, as well as in the homepage banner where the picture is and my logo, and over on the right-hand side, it will say email for details. And you email me with your name, and uh, then I'll go ahead and get your gift all ready and sent to you. So, once again, guys, thank you so much for all your support. It is the reason why I've hit 5K. I just wanted to touch on that for just a moment, guys, because I'm somebody who wears several hats other than being a professional organizer. I also work full-time for the government and I also work on interior decorating with a business partner of mine and uh, we buy rental properties and development and I redo them and uh, all of that. So I really <laughs> am doing my best um, to stay on top of these videos guys and give you guys quality content and uh, you know, but I have to be honest, after my surgery, I've just been go, go, go. Art is my therapy. I didn't want to go too long without posting. But your health comes first, and I kind of should have waited a little bit because I have to be honest, guys, I am feeling quite burnt out with everything that I got going on, especially with all these commissions that I have coming in. Don't get me wrong, I'm grateful. Times 10. But I'm just being very honest. I'm an authentic person. I'm very real. And you know, I'm burning the candle at both ends. So please give me an E for effort, like the video, um, and definitely comment if you want to be able to participate in the giveaway for the prize. Because I think $50 giveaway is pretty darn good, guys. So what I forgot, because my mind turns to mush a lot, guys, as it often does when I am pouring, is I wanted to let you guys know how to go about getting the right amount of paint. And just from playing around and experimenting, I've come up with my own formula, which is all you do, and I just know this from doing interior decorating and getting paint and dealing with the trades and stuff and, you know, for how much paint to use. So you're just going to use your length and your width. So this is a 12 by 16, and you're going to times that. So 12 times 16 equals, and then you're going to divide that by 20. And that doesn't matter what size your canvas is, that's your formula. You take the size of your canvas, multiply it by the height and the length, then, do, then, then whatever that total is, you want to divide that by 20. And that is going to give you a couple ounces, like one and a half to two ounces extra of what you need. Now you can adjust that and change that to make it your own. I like to have a little extra because it's always better to have more than not enough. 
And so that's what works for me. So hopefully that helps you guys out. So once again, guys, please give me a big thumbs up, E for effort. I've done everything I could to try to recreate this to be as similar in likeness as the first one. It was a fail. However, I'm not going to beat myself up for several reasons, mainly because I was basically trying to wing it. I had no actual recipe and formula for this. Um, I would have definitely liked more of the copper to be available and more of the black because to me it's just a gold piece with a tiny bit of black and a couple cool effects up top. So anyways guys, thank you so much again. I appreciate all your support over this time. Um, before I go, I just wanted to say intentionally when I started YouTube, I didn't want to promote my channel on Pinterest and Etsy and Reddit and have a Facebook page and all of the other things that many artists have. Um, uh, I under Because I have so many other hats that I wear, all of that stuff takes time to manage. Um, I'm also on four acrylic pouring groups and that takes a lot of time away from me as well. And so for me, I really wanted to gain subscribers that were going to be loyal as many of you are and can consistently watch the videos, consistently participate, comment, uh, view the community posts, like, share the video, um, rather than just worrying about a subscriber count. Um, as a confident and authentic person, I understand that, you know, I could have a million subscribers. To me, that's great. But once again, it means nothing if 5,000 of you are only watching out of a million. And so my whole point was trying to grow organically on YouTube so that I could gain people that really were interested in my work and me as well and were really going to stick with me through my journey. So thank you for those of you who are loyal and who regularly watch the videos, comment, like, and share. Um, I do have a website that I had from Small Business that I'm kind of reworking. And uh, in the near future, I will do an Instagram page just to post some of my artwork for sale. But for those of you who are not aware, I do sell my artwork. So if you are ever interested in a commission or a purchase piece, please click on the Shannon Gibson Art and Designs at gmail.com. Email me and inquire and I will let you know if that piece is available. And if it's a commission, then we can talk details and go from there. So once again, guys, smash that like button. Continue to support me as you always have. Give me a big E for effort. And, uh, you know, I kind of apologize. I know you guys are super excited. But like I said in the post, I will attempt to recreate. And I did. And this is what I got. So until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next pour. Don't forget to comment so that you can participate to get your prize. Thank you. Bye.